You've probably seen survival shows where experts craft tools from nature, but could you survive an ice age winter using only technology that's 200,000 years old? Not just any technology Neanderthal tech. Today, we're not just looking at these tools, we're re-putting them to the test to see if we have what it takes to think like a Neanderthal. First, let's understand what we're working with. This isn't a random pile of rocks. This is a Mausterian toolkit, the signature technology of the Neanderthal world. The star of the show is the Levalois core and flake. To the untrained eye, it just looks like a weird lumpy rock. But to a Neanderthal, it was a precision instrument. The goal isn't the core itself. It's the flake that pops off of it. That flake is razor sharp, often sharper than a modern surgical scalpel. The process to create it, however, is the first major hurdle. It requires incredible skill, planning, and a precise understanding of geometry and fracture dynamics. You don't just hit the rock, you prepare it, striking specific platforms to control the shape and size of the flake. One wrong strike and the core shatters. This isn't a skill you pick up in an afternoon. Okay, let's say you've managed to produce a few decent flakes. Now what? Your first task is butchery. A successful hunt means you have a several hundred pound animal to process. A Livalwa flake is perfect for this. Its sharp edge slices through tough hide and tendon with surprising efficiency. It's lightweight and can be resharpened easily, but it's also small and can wear down your hand without a handle. Did they haft them? Evidence suggests they did, using glue made from birch tar, a complex process in itself. Next, you need to make clothing. You'll need scrapers. These tools have a thick, rounded edge, perfect for removing flesh and fat from the inside of a hide and for softening it. This is a tedious, physically demanding process that requires patience and skill to avoid cutting through the precious hide. Now, the big one, hunting. Your primary weapon is a thrusting spear, a long, stout, wooden shaft with a lavawa point hafted firmly to the end. This is not a throwing spear. Using it means getting dangerously close to a woolly mammoth, bison, or rhino. It requires unimaginable courage, strength, and teamwork. There is no margin for error. So, could a modern human survive with Neanderthal tech? The tools themselves are brilliantly effective, masterpieces of minimalist design, but the knowledge behind them is the real technology, the skill to make them, the courage to use them, and the generational wisdom of how, when, and where to employ them. That's what truly defined Neanderthal survival. We might be able to mimic the shape of their tools, but replicating a lifetime of ingrained skill and Ice Age toughness is a far greater challenge. Their tech wasn't just about survival, it was about mastery.